Hey guys, welcome back to the Cult Classic Kids Show, and today we are talking about Stellar Blade because we got some great news. First and foremost, the game is coming out Friday. Okay, we're less than a week away from the game. Um, I will be live streaming Stellar Blade on the channel, so definitely tune in for that if you want to hang out and see what the game is all about. And um, yeah, it's 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 quickly approaching. You know, I I kind of lose track of the the weeks and stuff, so. The fact that the game's already coming out, I will be getting a physical copy personally, because if I do buy games for PS5, I do prefer to get physical media if possible. So, um, depending on when it comes in the mail, you know what I mean? So, uh, definitely stay tuned for that. But there is some great news that has come out about Stellar Blade from the developers themselves, and we're going to go through that information real quick because, well... Stellar Blade offers the same uncensored version in all countries, including the Japanese version. That is... That is kind of wild. I'm not going to lie. Um, uncensored all countries. This is something we love to hear. And if you're, you know, you advocate for anti-censorship in your entertainment, um, especially in video games, which has been an issue pretty much a long period of time, you know, since before I was even born when it comes to gaming. This is really nice to see. And... Apparently, I think it's, it seems as though we're going to have the same experience across the board. And what even was wild was when I saw this right here. Even Saudi Arabia got raided. Okay, so even Saudi Arabia is getting the same version as we're getting. Even Japan's getting the same version as we're getting. And they seem to be, the Stellar Blade devs seem to be very happy with, you know, what 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 they managed to get past the ESRB, I guess, or did these raiding these rating organizations around the world. But I'm happy to see that everyone seems to be getting the same version of Stellar Blade. I, that is awesome, you know? Um, as someone that's highly against censorship and sees it as one of the biggest issues in gaming right now that not enough people talk about, sadly, I'm really happy to see this. Uh, I'm, you know, all shout out to Shift Up for really just doing the right thing. Um, at least in... Uh, Look, man, they're saying the right things, but um, I've been burned on developers saying the right things. But for the most part, I can't sit here and be that skeptical. They, they've been doing everything that I want to hear in regards to this game in particular. Like, for example, Stellar Blade will receive a New Game Plus mode and free skins as DLC. That is awesome. You know, uh, after, after the initial purchase, you know, it's really cool to see that. Apparently, the only potentially paid skins will be skins that collaborate with other um, with other IPs. So, obviously, they're not going to put up the cost for that, which I completely understand. So, if you want to get, I guess, a skin that maybe perhaps replicates, um, I don't know, uh, huh, Alita Battle Angel, for example, you'd probably have to pay for it since it's an intellectual property. But um, that's completely fine. That's completely understandable. I think anybody that um, I think anybody who understands how capitalism works would understand how that works. And um, yeah, I'm just really happy to see that overall the game is uncensored across the board. And um, the game is coming out Friday. Wishing the best for Shift Up as a developer. I'm hoping that the game is solid. My prediction is that perhaps the game will get snubbed by critics. If that's the case, man, it sucks. Um, in the very least, if they don't snub the game in regards to actual scoring itself, then we'll definitely see, you know, review articles basically discussing how probably the developers are misogynistic and um, the game is a poor representation of women, blah, blah, blah. Basically political, their political nonsense, their own personal politics into their review. Even if the game happens to get a reasonable score. So we'll see what happens. Um, I hope they at least have some integrity and give the game a proper score that it deserves. We'll see what happens. But either way, man, I think that this game is going to do really well, or I hope it does. So if you're interested, uh, if you're into hack and slash games, pick up the game. You know, it's a, it's from the demo. It's pretty hype. It's pretty dope. But um, I, I know some people that aren't into these games that were like, man, I don't know if I should buy the game or not. Shout out to Solid Rev. On Solid Cast, he was like, man, honestly speaking, I'm just not into hack and slash games like Devil May Cry or Bayonetta, but I really am tempted to buy the game just out of spite for people that are crying that, you know, about Eve's character model and, and all that. And 
honestly, if you feel that way, don't force yourself to buy a game that you genuinely don't want to play. Um, I understand, you know, I understand that sentiment. I wouldn't want to be in that position either. You, you know, if you're not going to play it at all, I completely understand. But if you have a PS5 and hack and slash games are your thing, you like what, where this game is going, you like this post-apocalyptic, interesting world that is presented, give the game a try, man. Uh, you know, if you can, obviously. I will be there with you, and uh, I'm hoping to have a damn good time. But guys, let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. If you can, like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Follow me over on Twitter, kick if you like to continue the conversation. Um, What else? What else? Consider becoming a channel member. Uh, basic membership gives you access to my Discord server. And um, check out my website. Sell merch. Dope stuff. And yeah, guys, well, I'll be in the Peace.